So what the heck are we doing here in Lanny? Looking at a hatchet eh, boiling in water. Well, I was a dumb person and I left my hatchet outside for pretty well the entire winter. Yeah, smart thing to do. So what I did was threw it in some vinegar and basically just let it sit there for a day. As you can see, it's starting to kind of peel off there. That's right, Red. And yeah, it's just kind of vinegar is awesome because uh, it'll convert the rust, the iron, the iron oxides into black phosphate, and then that black phosphate comes off a lot easier than the rust will, because uh, the rust is pretty heavily bonded to the metal room. But yeah, this just kind of frees up them ions by converting them. Yeah, uh, this is about, I think the next day. That's right, Red. Uh, but yeah, you can really see it starting to chip off there. Uh, like, your mileage is going to vary, that's for sure. But I just immersed it completely in, alco er, completely in vinegar. Just plain white vinegar. Uh, I thought about doing electrolysis on it, but I th thought I'd try this. I thought it was gonna be a lot more work than this, but like, yeah, yeah, you can see it just boiling off there. Not boiling, but you know, it's the chemical reaction happening, right? Which is pretty cool. Yeah, watch this part. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's intensity. But yeah, I just left it in there for a day. And then I even sent it, uh, just this little video to my friend Riley over Messenger. And then he tried it on one of my old knives. He's got one of my knives. And he's got that knife all cleaned up now, which is cool. Because it's a really expensive knife I've had for a long time. Yeah, look, you can see it really peeling off the edges. But yeah, I'm going to make another video where I, you'll see all the rust parts there. We'll stick some of them under the microscope and check them out and see what they look like. I think that'll be fun. Bloop. Ah, yeah. Here we go. And yeah, you can just see it started to peel off. And yeah, bada boom, bada bing. You got yourself a hatchet. That is not completely destroyed by the ravages of oxidization. So yeah, it's pretty handy. Uh, I've cleaned quite a few things with it. Uh, it's never really worked quite this well before, but like my Pulaski there, I found that in the barn. And like if you've seen some of my videos, you've seen the barn, and it's not a good barn. It's like a hundred year old barn that's collapsed, and I've found it just rooting around in there one day and it was buried so I kept it I restored it with vinegar not like this I didn't have enough to submerge it so I like wiped it and rubbed it and just got it to turn into black phosphate best as I could and rubbed it off eh? but this hasn't been buried in the ground for 20 years it was just left outside and been snowed and rained on so it had a different kind of it was more of a surface rust, and you can see it just, after you convert it to the black phosphate, it just peels and pulls right off all nice like. Alright, you don't need me talking for 20 minutes. Watch the rest of the video. Yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty well cleaned up. <clears throat> so I'm just going to sharpen it quickly. And well, if you don't know how to sharpen an axe or a hatchet, it's pretty simple. You just take something harder than it, and you rub it against it. It's not, it's really not that hard. People have been 
sharpening things with things for thousands of years, mostly rubbing rocks on rocks. And generally the the trick is just make sure the thing you're rubbing is harder than the thing you're not rubbing. It goes the same with a bow and drill for creating fire. You have to make sure your your drill is harder than your and your plank. Oh, yeah, let's just get, a, get an edge on this bad boy. Yeah. And uh, just kind of hold it at your best 20 degree angle. And you'll be chopping and hacking and slashing in the chat. Yeah. Uh, it's, you don't have to rebuff the entire axe unless you really want to. Uh, that's basically just makes it easier to see in the brush, uh, like if you drop it. So if you don't want to rebuff the whole thing, you could paint it with like a phosphorescent. Phosphorus. Phosphorescent. There we go. Paint and then it'll glow or sheen when you point a light at it, but eh, just don't just don't lose your axe so you don't have to do this again. <laughs> yeah, this is my second. I lost my other one, so I had to buy this one. But yeah, people have been. It's probably longer than 2,000 years. That, that's probably a gross understatement. More like couple million years. <laughs> so, I'm sure you can figure out how to rub up against something without fancy tools. Look at that. Cutting my skin off already. Yeah, you probably can't see that. But it is. It's all about the angle, really. And you don't want it like super sharp, you want a nice kind of thicker angle with machetes and hatchets and axes. Cause it's, you're going to be using it a lot. Like you know, with a flesh cutting knife you want it pretty well razor sharp. And even that dulls quickly, right? Depending on your blade. But, generally. Alright. We'll be back. Now, if you got an actual whetstone, it's a good idea to finish with that, though. Like, it's pretty sharp. Probably won't cut paper, though. I don't know. It kind of did. Not amazing, but... That was a little better. Anyways. And this has just got a fire proof, right? <laughs> and it'll get it that little bit sharper. Yeah, you can tell we've had this one for a while. <laughs> Like uh, that old adage, uh, uh, new broom is, I always screw this up, it's like, a new broom has straight bristles, but an old broom knows all the corners, right? Yeah, it was like that one. It's one of those, those timely adages, 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 analogies, whatever. 
anecdotes. <laughs> yeah. And then you wanna do the same thing, the other side, the other side. Break on through to the other side. Shave on those pieces of metal. And you have to sing that song, otherwise it doesn't work. It doesn't. I'm telling you, it won't. You can try it, but it's not gonna work. I have to go play with my chicken soon. But I need a hatchet. Uh, I've been watching this other guy, it's, uh, he's on cheap homesteading, so basically. <laughs> Same idea as me. Uh, he's a nice guy though, so I'll link him in the description of this video. Just go check him out. All of us YouTubers need to band together and take over the world. But yeah, he does a lot more chainsaw videos and a lot more of that kind of stuff. I don't like to chainsaw on my own. I don't know, I don't really have the hard hat or any of the equipment for it, so... It's not really a smart thing to do. Let alone do it alone. There's no gear, right? So... And if I chopped my leg off, freaking mother would just snap and freak out. I have, like given myself tiny cuts before and she's like oh my god and she's one of them people like eh? how she works in the medical field I don't know. I guess she cares less about those people. <laughs> That's true. I might have dulled it actually. talking, not paying attention. Okay, we'll be back. That was in focus. Better retake it. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty sharp. I should spend a little more time sharpening it, maybe. But it's probably pretty good. Carve a spoon with that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope this helps somebody. You can do it to pretty well anything, knives, whatever. Because yeah, it turns uh, the rust into black phosphate. It doesn't really eat the metal in a traditional way. It converts the rust into just something that breaks off quite a bit easier. Uh, if it's a lot rustier than this was, you'll have pocketing and stuff you'll have to deal with, but luckily this was just a light rusting, so. But yeah, thanks for watching. If there isn't a chicken to click, to subscribe. Um, that's YouTube's fault, not mine. Bye.